Hello guys and welcome to Astrology Coaching by Anatoly. We are proceeding with the series of the zodiac signs and it is time for the Scorpio. According Scorpio is the most karmic sign from the zodiac belt. This is the sign that um, and, the, and the place where your, the Scorpio sign is placed in your Vedic chart will determine where you face most karmic energy. So at the end of this video I'm going to show you which, uh, what, where, how to find the sector which will bring a lot of karmic energy and a lot of challenges. Okay, so let's start now. Okay, so we're going to proceed with the same script that we're doing for all uh, signs. Um, the motto of Scorpio people, not Scorpio people, Scorpio sign. This is, this is very important that, uh, to know that it's general traits. And um, whether you're Scorpio determines which, uh, how many planets you have and which are the planets you have in the Scorpio sign. For example, Moon in Scorpio is different from Sun in Scorpio. It is totally different meaning. Okay, this is just a general traits, general explanation of the sign. Every planet will have different shade, will bring different shade in the Scorpio sign. So the motto or the phrase that uh, describes Scorpio sign is I destroy. The name in Sanskrit is Vrishchika. The element of course this is the water but this is the still water. I mean uh, for example lakes, for example swamps. This is the still water. That's why there is a hidden um, uh, still uh, there is a hidden knowledge, hidden things in the Scorpio because the water is still and you don't see anything. The swamps, for example, dirty and still and you don't know what is in the water. Element, water, as I said, quality, this is a fixed sign so it is very difficult to be changed. It is stubborn sign and Scorpios, they are difficult to be, um, if they think something, if they think they are right, I'm pretty sure you cannot convince them that you're wrong, that they are wrong. The Guna, of course, it is Tamas. This is Tamas energy, like the Virgo. It is energy that destroys in order other signs to create after this. Symbol, of course, this is a Scorpio. The gender is a female. Some people think that that uh, Scorpio is a male sign, but this is female sign. Mars, the rulers of Scorpio are Mars and Keto. This is the different. This is different things from the. This is different thing from uh, Western astrology. As you know, in Vedic astrology, if you have watched the previous videos, we have Ketu and Rahu. Ketu is uh, the south node of the moon. Rahu is the north node of the moon. And Mars is the main ruler of Scorpio, together with the Aries. But a co-ruler of Scorpio is Ketu. So. They say, for example, they, I think they say that uh, Mars, uh, Ketu is the grandfather of Mars. This is from the mythology of the planets, but we're going to discuss planets later on. Uh, so the core ruler is Ketu. When you see Scorpio, you have to check where, where are the rulers. For example, if you have Scorpio in the sixth house, you have to check where is Mars and where is Ketu. The rulership as percentage, let's say 90% is Mars, 10% is Keto, but still you have to check Keto. It is the core ruler. Mutricon, it is not Mutricon sign. Keto is exalted in Scorpio and Moon and Rahu are debilitated. Moon doesn't like to be in the dirty waters. Moon likes to be in the clean river waters. Moon doesn't like to be, to be hidden, to deal with, um, to deal with uh, occultism or to deal with problems, to deal with transformation. Moon, moon wants to enjoy life. It is exalted in Taurus. Moon wants to be happy, to have a lot of beautiful men and women around, the, around it and to enjoy life. This is Moon, what Moon loves. So debilitation for uh, Moon and Rahu, body parts, reproductive system. Basically Scorpio is the sign where, which rules the reproductive uh, system and if you have a lot of malefics in Scorpio you have to be careful from, for sexual 
uh, diseases and diseases linked uh, connected with your reproductive system. Uh, nakshatras is the next thing that we're going to discuss. Vishaka, Anura Radha, and Jyashta. Jyashta, Jyashta um, are the nakshatras that uh, consist uh, uh, the Scorpio sign. Uh, as, you, as I told you, uh, Mars is the ruler of Scorpio, but um, here Scorpio has taken the bad energy of Mars, the energy of aggression, destruction, energy. Um, Scorpio rules uh, the hidden things, it rules transformation, it rules uh, death and uh, rebirth. Mm, Scorpio is the eighth sign and it is related to the eighth house. And eighth house is rebirth, death, transformation, sudden changes. It is related to diseases too, especially chronic diseases. Scorpio is a sexual sign. If you are loved, and it is very obsessive sign, obsession, destruction, sexuality, sexual feelings, sexual emotions, se sexual passion. This is Scorpio and I can say as per um, my, if you are loved by a Scorpio person, uh, you are a lucky person. I mean, um, Scorpios can love you till your, till your death. They, they can love you to death. Uh, these people can really, really love. And I think this is the sign that really understands what is love. This is the sign. For example, Virgo can be a little bit more practical in love. Uh, Leo can love, much, <laughs> can love himself more than other per, other, his or her spouse. But Scorpio can die for his or her love. This is really... I can say that this is... You are lucky if you are loved by Scorpio. Uh, other, other words that describe uh, Scorpio. Mysterious, hidden, um, obsessive, looking for hidden things, looking for truth, looking for uh, power, money. This is a very powerful sign. Secrets is the other word that describes this sign. Occultism, mysticism, numerology, numerology astrology, these are the words that uh, describe this sign too. Uh, what else? Unseen, things that are unseen, things that are unknown, um, things that are scandalous, and scandals are related to this sign. Oil, chemical, violence, but still these are one of the most mag uh, magnetic person. They, they are full with energy that, uh, that overwhelm other people and um, these, are, these are really magnetic persons. They can, you can fall in love with them very easy, but of course at the first time they are too intense, they are too secretive, they are too they, they are different type of persons and you feel the Scorpio and very very sexual sign too. Manipulation, deception, mysticism are the other words that can describe Scorpio. Um, what else? Ah, oh, maybe I forgot some. I'll forget something. They they face a world of up and up and up and downs in their life. They don't like, again, they don't like to be controlled. That's why they're rebellious. Oh, rebellious is a very good word to describe Scorpio. Hidden, passionate, intense, rebellious people with a big heart. I, I can say, if you have a, a strong Scorpio in your chart, you, are re you can really love and you can love till death separates you. And I have friends that are that have relationship with Scorpio, and I um, I see how a Scorpio love other person. Of course, their love can be pro problematic; it can bring a lot of problems. But if you have a lot of malefics, it, it can get a little bit crazy, and. Uh, uh, if you have a lot of malefics in Scorpio, you can kill someone because of love. So be careful. Things I forgot to say uh, about uh, Scorpio is underground thing. Things that are under the ground, and the other things is that they are very loyal. If they accept you as a friend, 
they are very loyal to you. This is important. So now I'm going to show you the sectors and how to find and how to find um, which sector can bring you uh, a lot of challenges in your life. Okay, where is the blue pen? So we are, I'm going to draw again the chart, the north node chart and let's say Let's say Scorpio is in your sixth house. Scorpio is in your sixth house. This means that a lot of karmic events will happen through your daily life, uh, through your working experience. You meet a lot of challenges, a lot of um, debts. Maybe you get married and then you get divorced because sixth house is divorce. Maybe you have problems with your health. Maybe you have um, surgeries. Maybe you have a lot of um, enemies that want to destroy you. And basically, if you have Scorpio in the sixth house this means that your enemies are very very strong they're psychologically strong they're really dangerous uh, because um, even they can be from the mafia because Scorpio rules the underground world the mafia rules the um, criminals too, uh, in some way so you can have a lot of really really strong um, enemies here and the karma can come from your enemies. Karma, the karmic energy can come from um, the work you do. That's you have to do everything alone or everything that you have to face all the problems alone and you have to learn how to deal with the problems alone. You may have a lot of conflicts with your co-workers or you, or you may not be happy from uh, the your life and you need to change it and there you can face a lot of transformation because six houses your work right and your uh, health a lot of healing a lot of transformation it is good if you have Scorpio in the sixth house it is good to read about mysticism to read about occultism and maybe you can work that too so if you have Scorpio oh Scorpio in the seventh house oh this is for Taurus ascendant so for Taurus Ascendant, Scorpio is always in the seventh house. Uh, and this is a big issue for the Taurus Ascendant people because every time I have many clients uh, with uh, that a Taurus Ascendant with Scorpio in the seventh house and they always, they always have problems with, um, with their spouse and they they come to me because of the spouse. They meet drug dealers, they meet uh, or drug addicted people, they meet alcoholics, they meet people who, who beat them, who torture them in a physical or mental, or mental way, but they still love them. They love them. The Taurus people love their spouse, but they say, but they're not healthy for, we are not in a healthy relationship. Uh, or the Scorpio person type of partner have um, a lot of uh, hidden things, uh, hidden children or hidden information or uh, very sexual sign. Sometimes it may be cheating uh, on you. The Scorpio people can cheat on you. Depends on the where are the rulers of the Scorpio and what kind of planets you have in Scorpio. But uh, for example, if you have Venus in Scorpio in uh, seventh house, this means really big love, <clears throat> obsessive love, even obsessive love. Uh, so with to people with the Taurus ascendant, they have to be careful with their spouse, if uh, because you always always meet a Scorpio-like person. Per, pe, person that is magnetic, that is intense, that hides things from you, it, uh, even uh, even lies to you, uh, very sexual sign, and uh, you know that he is not the best, the healthiest relationship you have, but you still want him, this type of relationship. So if you have uh, Scorpio, let where where to put the Scorpio in the third house let's say in the third house 
The third house, this means that you have to be careful with your siblings and the karma will come from your siblings. Maybe you have uh, or through communication or through your own business or through uh, your hobby or some kind of uh, um, uh, something from the third house. It may be hobby, it may be courage, it may be communication, it may be siblings. And for example, you may have really bad relationship with the siblings. And this will be the term and this will be karmic. You cannot escape from this lesson. They, for example, you have uh, your family have big house, but your siblings take the house and you are without anything and you don't have place where to live and you have bad relationship with your siblings. You cannot escape from this karmic energy. Scorpio is the most karmic sign and especially if you're a Scorpio ascendant. If you're a Scorpio ascendant, you meet a world of transformation, you meet a world of challenges, but and events that will happen in your life, you cannot control them, you cannot change them. Most of them, of course, not everything. Okay, so this is the video for the Scorpio. And as I, as, as I said a few times during this video, if you are loved by a Scorpio person, you are really lucky. And if there are malefics in the Scorpio, you are not so lucky because he may kill you or she can kill you from love. <laughs> oh, be careful, check, check the chart, check the chart.